Senior Life Journeys presents Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia, a podcast designed to help caregivers find knowledge, power, hope, and smiles in their dementia caregiving journey. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. Here is your host, best-selling author, Carol Howell. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. I'm Carol Howell, your host, and today we're going to talk about your sniffer smelling and how important that is for a healthy life. Have you ever thought about it? Well, it's true. The sense of smell is an important part of our world. If you think about walking into your house and smelling chocolate chip cookies baking, oh, it just it's a happy feeling. It's a feeling of lightness, potentially. Maybe it takes you back to when you were in third grade and you came home and your mama was baking chocolate chip cookies. Or maybe it's the smell of apple pie. Or I don't know. What is it that you smell that takes you back and you go, that's happy. I, that makes me think about Well, I can tell you for me, this right here, White Diamonds Cologne, this bottle of White Diamonds has huge memory attached to it for me. And this is the cologne my mama wore for years and years. And uh, even when she was still well, I remember going to the bank one day and standing behind a lady and I went, I had this big whiff of her cologne and I went, you've got on white diamonds, don't you? And she said, yes, how do you know? And I said, you smell like my mama. And so for me now, white diamonds is important. I absolutely put a little s- spray of this on uh, every day and when I smell it. Mm, that's my sweet mama. It makes me happy to smell white diamonds. So that sense of smell is important in our world for various reasons. Well, for our folks with dementia, especially Alzheimer's type dementia, they have lost the sense of smell. Isn't that sad? Let me ask you this. When you eat, what is the first sense that is activated? Well, it's probably for most of us going to be sight. We see it or we smell it. It's going to be one of the two, depending on where we are in relation to the food, right? If we're coming into the house and someone's cooking, we smell, um, I don't know, French fries. Oh, let's not talk about French fries. I do love some French fries. (laughs) We smell them, so we're going to eat first with our sense of smell. Or maybe we see from a distance a chocolate cake on the counter. We see it, and then we smell it. Those two important things. But with Alzheimer's and we've lost that sense of smell, it drastically affects appetite. Folks don't get as hungry as they might because they can't smell the food. Now that's important if you're in a community setting where you're not seeing the food being cooked. You're not in Uh, The food is not in front of you until they bring you that plate of food and then you see it. So if we have not smelled it ahead of time, our appetite is not wet as much as if we might have seen this food and smelled the food. So then the food is placed in front of us. We haven't seen it. We don't smell it. And now we are to eat it. If it's not one of your most favorite foods in the world, that might be a problem. You might be, I don't think I'm all that hungry. Um, But if it's your most favorite fruit, like French fries, you're going to dig right in. So the sense of smell is very important for our appetite. It's also a protective smell. When we smell certain things, we go, oh, back the truck up. I need to stay away from that. Like smoke. If you smelled smoke, you'd be, something's on fire. Let's figure out where the smoke's coming from. I smell it. Do you smell it? Or that really strong smell that we get from gas and chemicals. Gasoline has an awful smell, does it not? If you get it on your hands, it's like, oh, give me something to wash my hands. I can't stand this. I tell everybody, that's why a woman marries a man, is to pump gas and to carry heavy things. It's two important things they need to do for us. But chemicals, lots of chemicals have awful smells. Lots of cleaning solutions have awful smells. Um, When I think about cleaning solutions, I think about Clorox. Ugh, nasty smell. How is that protective for us, the sense of smell? Well, let's pretend that you've just, you've got someone living with you who has dementia and you have just poured a couple Clorox to put into your white load for the week and the phone rings and you walk away and your loved one walks by and they see a cup and think, huh, that looks like Mountain Dew. Let me drink it. And Uh, down goes the the Clorox because when they brought it to their mouth, their sense of smell was gone and they didn't get a whiff up and go, oh gosh, that smells horrible. Let me uh, not drink this. By the time they've discerned that, it's already on their tongue. It's already in their mouth. 
Chances are they're not going to drink a lot of it because it's going to be pretty nasty. They're going to spit it out. But by that time, we've already ingested some. I think about the, the chemical smell that is with natural gas. You think about how protective that is. As I understand it, natural gas has no smell. So they put uh, something in it. makes it smell horrible so that if there is a leak, you will know it. But if you've lost your sense of smell, you're not going to know that. Well, the sense of smell is important protectively, also regarding spoiled food. You know, you look in the refrigerator. I don't know how long since you've cleaned out yours. <laughs> I keep mine pretty much rotated. I don't like keeping old food in there. But you open it up and you take a whiff and go, oh, good gracious, that sounds horrible. Get rid of it. But someone who's lost that protective smell might eat food that's not good. So with our loved ones who are still maintaining their own household, we need to clean out that refrigerator pretty frequently, I'm going to tell you. Body odor. That's another place where the protective sense of smell, we lose it. And then our, we start to have breakdown of skin uh, because of skin on top of skin that hasn't been washed. You know, anywhere that skin touches skin is a place where we have the potential for the breakdown of that skin behind the ears, under the arms, under the breast, around the genitalia, between the fingers, between the toes. Anywhere skin touches skin, we can have breakdown. We start getting body odor. We don't notice it. So it's protective that we start going, that doesn't smell so good, it must be me, and we get cleaned up. And of course, urine and feces. I mean, yeah, we got some smell going there. And we know that our loved ones with dementia will sit with a dirty Depends on, and you're like, why are they doing that? Why do they not go, I think I just pooped and it don't smell good, let's get me cleaned up. Well, it's because they don't smell it. So they've lost that sense of smell, and, and they're not detecting any longer that that's what's happened. The sense of smell is important. I want to read you a joke that is in my book, Let's Talk Dementia. i got to find it right here. Um, that relates to this that I thought was pretty. Uh, not pretty. I thought was funny. Oh, here it is, page 71. Nice table of contents you got there, Carol. Oh, my goodness. I should put my reader glasses on. I, I do much better when I can see. Okay. Do you guys who wear readers ever have put the readers around your neck and then reach and get a pair of readers and realize now you've got one around your neck and one on your head? I do that. I wonder about myself. Okay. An, elder, an elderly woman went to the doctor's office for a checkup. The doctor asked if she had any problems. The woman said that she had a terrible problem with constant passing of gas. However, the incidents were silent and did not smell. In fact, she announced she had passed gas at least 10 times she'd been, since she'd been in the office. Since they were silent and didn't smell, no one knew. The doctor listened to her story and then gave her a prescription for some pills. He told her to take these pills for a week and come back to see him. One week later, the elderly woman returned to the doctor's office and complained, I don't know what you did, but those pills have caused my wind to smell awful. They are still silent, but boy, do they stink. The doctor replied, good. Now that your sinuses are cleared up, we will work on improving your hearing. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That's from Let's Talk Dementia, which you can find on Amazon and on my website. This one says rewrite up there because I'm working on a second edition. And that's my working copy. <laughs> Okay, sense of smell is important. It's important for you and the quality of your life. It makes your life happier, more pleasant. It's important for the safety of you and your loved ones. So think about that. All right, see you guys on the next episode of Let's Talk Dementia. Let's Talk Dementia would like to thank our sponsors, National Association of Veterans and Families. You can reach them at 800-352-2919 on the internet at www.navf.org. They speak veterans so you don't have to. And you tell them Carol sent you when you call to inquire about benefits for the veteran, the spouse of the veteran, or both. Editor Beth. You can find Ms. Beth Crosby at EditorBeth.com. She is amazing at looking at what you've written and making sure it represents you well. Find her at www.EditorBeth.com. And HD Imports, located on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina. That's York County. 803-985-0985. They are there for the, hunt, the repair and maintenance of your Honda, Hyundai, Toyota, Kia. Tell them Carol sent you. 
Thanks for joining us today for Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia. To learn more about dementia, we recommend Carol's best-selling book, also titled Let's Talk Dementia. It's available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle versions. Be sure to like Let's Talk Dementia on Facebook and leave us a kind word of review on iTunes. Remember, knowledge brings power. Power brings hope. Hope brings smiles. And we all need more smiles. Thanks for joining us today. And we'll be right here when you come back to Let's Talk Dementia.